Talking Room with Wolf Blitzer, today at 5 Eastern on CNN. In downtown Sydney, Australia, the taking of hostages in a coffee shop by a lone Muslim gunman was immediately condemned by Islamic leaders in Australia. That sort of reaction has become almost automatic in these situations. The attack also prompted another kind of response. Hashtag I'll ride with you. One person treated if you regularly take the 373 bus between Coogee and Martin, and Martin Place, wear religious attire and don't feel safe alone, I'll ride with you. Another woman treated to the ladies who I shared a cab with this afternoon, Mika and Dixie, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And still another said, I'm not in Sydney, but I'm in Australia. And if anyone in Adelaide feels unsafe wearing religious attire, I'll ride with you. So let's talk about this. Arsalan Iftikhar is a senior editor of Islamic Monthly and founder of the MuslimGuide.com. Good morning. Good morning, Carol. It was good to be with you. It's nice to have you here. So that hashtag went viral. It, it, I mean, some of them, some of the tweets are very touching. Yeah, I mean, it, it was incredible, um, you know, the, the outpouring of support from uh, everyday Australians. Uh, this was a viral campaign, uh, you know, that went worldwide, and it, it showed how a true liberal democracy responds to acts of terror. They don't marginalize minority demographic groups. Uh, they, they show support for diversity and inclusion all around their country. And uh, on behalf of Muslims worldwide, uh, Australia, we will ride with you as well. Although some might argue that in Australia, um, hundreds of clerics immediately came out and condemned the hostage taker. Yeah, you know, Carol, the, the problem is that whenever a, a brown Muslim man commits, a, you know, a criminal act, uh, the, the world uh, public expects Muslim leaders and public intellectuals to come out and condemn these acts of terrorism, which we do. Um, you know, this same sort of double standard, of course, is not applied to other uh, minority demographic groups. The Sydney hostage crisis was a criminal act, not an Islamic one. Uh, and it's something that Muslim public intellectuals, leaders, and religious scholars all around the world will continue to speak out against but, to, but, to but reclaim this, the message of But this awful man was trying to Muslim. hijack an entire religion, so wouldn't it be better to come out and, and distance yourself from him? Well, keep in mind, Carol, that th this man was a crazy lunatic. I mean, he was recently charged with 50 counts of indecent exposure and sexual assault. He was charged as an accessory in the murder of his ex-wife. This guy was one of those, uh, you know, street corner uh, clerics that you would find, you know, on the, co the corner of Times Square here. This guy was a straight-up lunatic. Uh, you know, he had nothing to do with the religion of Islam. His acts were about as Muslim as the Westboro Baptist Church's acts are c Christian. And, uh, you know, I think any person with uh, any common sense would understand that this is against any normative teaching of any uh, religious or uh, civilized society today. Well, I, I want to play you something that was said uh, last night on Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper interviewed a man named Majid Nawaz of the Daily Beast, and he, and he talked about how uh, Muslims need to be more vocal about distancing themselves from deranged people like that hostage taker. Let's listen. All of us collectively have to start getting real with this problem and recognizing uh, that there is indeed this challenge of, uh, of these uh, often, uh, you know, uh, pathological individuals who will use this ideology uh, as, an excuse, uh, as an excuse to live out their violent fantasies. Um, and we all have to bind together and, and, and start challenging this and, mm. and make this ideology uh, the stuff of yesterday. So, so he's suggesting why not start a hashtag against deranged men like this and, and distance yourself um, from someone who hijacks your religion. Uh, you know, we, we have it. Uh, Majid is actually a, an old friend of mine. And, you know, if you look at ISIS, for example, uh, there was a hashtag Muslims against ISIS that went viral around the world. Every major act of uh, terrorism that happens, uh, you know, that is committed by Muslims, Muslims around the world, uh, you know, create these viral uh, hashtag campaigns to help push against, push against these meta narratives. And, and I think that's an, a, a major reason, Carol, that we saw many Australians come up with this hashtag, I'll ride with you, to show solidarity with Muslims, that we're all in this uh, together, that you know, a, a, a murder of any innocent human being is a crime against humanity, and that people of all religions, colors, nationalities, and ethnicities will always stand up for what is right and uh, for promoting uh, human rights around the world. All right, Arslan Iptakar, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I appreciate it. Thank you, Carol. You're welcome. So